Okay, I tried to video on another video and it, the sound didn't come out and the quality was terrible. Couldn't even hear me, couldn't see what I was doing. So I'm doing a little bit on my phone here. Hopefully you can see what I've already done. This is Unicorn Spit. I'm Holly from Holly's Hobbies. This is Rustic Reality Unicorn Spit that I have done out here. Then I've used yellow as a base, freehand drew uh, sunflower, and then I used the orange, and then I put Tuscany, and now I'm doing some of the brown rustic reality back in here to give it more definition. Um, I'm talking a little louder, so hopefully it's coming out better on my phone. Um, I'm using just a paper plate with my colors on it and I have paint brushes and some water. I'm here by myself so I'm only getting to do part of this because I can't move the camera. It's set up only one way. So we'll try to continue on now that I've <coughs> not got any of the other one. laying in the brown to define the petals and to give it some contrast. Black is usually the last one that I use, but this unicorn spit is so easy to blend that it makes it fun to use and make corrections to boo-boos. <laughs> I hope we can see this better than on the other one. And hear it. I have to go do this for the whole thing. All around all the petals. And I'll be using black last for the deep, deep contrast that I want to get. I'm going to bring this petal down here like this. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to make this petal come down this way. Right now I'm just trying to lie, line out my petals with a line so that I can see it better so that I can blend and figure out where I want all my petals to go. So this one here is a petal. I can still see the pencil line on it. So I'll bring it down. With this product, if you don't like something that you see, you can always blend it out pretty good and change it up, make it look better for you visually. Kind of opens up the I'm gonna make this petal come in here. I hope you guys can see this and I hope the color is because it's very vibrant, so I don't know if you can see the color. And I hope it's videoing. I'm going to have to check it again. And You can always go back and add some more orange and yellow if you get too much brown and you think it's too much brown. Pull some more orange through it. This petal here, this one looks like this goes here. We'll get it defined first. 
worry about blending it here in a minute. There was a petal there. There's a petal here. Just so you can kind of see the design, we'll go around and do these like this. This one comes down. This one's here. So you can kind of see the layout now. So now I know where I need to shade. I need to get some shading in here. I wet my brush a little bit so it makes it easier for it to flow so that when I'm adding spots and doing the Just lay some on there and then blend it out. This is a petal down in there. I play with mine quite a bit, so I mean, by no means is it anywhere near done yet. But when I did the inside here, all I did was dab my, it was on the other video that didn't work, dab it in here and then just dab it around. And we'll do that more as as it gets to the finished product. But that gives you, it'll be a darker center. Get my brush again. I'm gonna put some right in here because this one needs some definition here. When you're blending against the grain, which is what I'm doing right here, it doesn't, of course, doesn't blend as easy, so you have to pull it. When it's with the grain, it just flows right with it. I can show you, you can just, I just wet my finger in the water and then like if you wanted to add some more yellow, let's say, just dab it back in the yellow and pull some more yellow through it. And blend it out. When 
you're pulling it through, if you turn your finger, you'll lay it down. I hope you can see that. But if you turn your finger, it'll lay you some lines that sometimes petals have. Blend it out a little bit, give you some more yellow in those petals that might have lost some of their contrast that you want. And then if you want to add some more orange, or Tuscan this is, it's kind of a pink, it's got some pink in it, and it's to add some more definition, you just a pretty good fall project. It's kind of going with the fall colors right now. I'm going to have to check the video and make sure that I'm getting what I need to get here. I just lay the dark in the base, pull it out a little bit. Blend, blend, blend. This one, I forgot to put some oranges and in, in stuff in it, so Maybe we can add some of those right here. I'll be using some black here in a little bit, darken everything up, finish it all up with Since I can't move my camera, I'm not gonna. I, be able to get to some of those petals very easily. So I may have to finish those up later on my own. Always have to go back in and define the areas that need and the more.
more full strength you use it, if you use it full strength, it's pretty dark. And this is not the black, this is rustic reality. Just keep going back in and defining things and making it making it your own piece. Every piece is individual and one of a kind, so I hope you guys can see the pretty vibrant colors it's it's getting. Just keep laying it in there, working with the areas that you want to change and make them look better. I'm thinking I probably have, oh, I had 40, about 45 minutes into it before I found out my video wasn't working. So I probably have another maybe another hour's worth of work on it. By the time I get done sharpening everything I want to sharpen and the edges and redarkening this, putting some black in there. Um, I might even go back in and put some little spots after it's all done. Just put some little spots out here like this just to give it more interest, more detail. See, you can see how that just, it, and it's not anywhere near done, but those little things like that help make it your own and help make it, I guess, look more realistic or I mean, I don't know if sunflowers have spots on their petals or not, but it's just something that I do because I think it adds to it. And this looks like a petal here, and that's just the wood. That is just the wood grain, so I'm going to make it a petal because it looks like it should be a petal. That's just the wood grain. So we're going to darken that up and make it look like a petal sticking out there. Darken up around it. Add some yellow to it. Always go back and just add more, blend it.
but there's nothing to be afraid of with this. This is a $1.50 TV tray from Salvation Army that I found. And I just took the legs off of it and drew my flower freehand and started working on it. If, if you don't like it, you can either re-sand it off, start again. But if you, the more you mess with it, the better it's going to get. You just have to keep messing with it. You can kind of see how it's lighter in here and darker out here. Well, we're gonna we'll fix that later and everything. But you can kind of see how that's coming along. I hope I hope you can see it. I'm going to shut my video off and check and see if I got anything on this one, but it's about it's about an hour away from being done. Um playing with it, adding black, add some more colors, maybe go darken the outside a little bit better. I still have to pull the the petals over the edge. Um which will just be like you just take this and bring bring your pedal down bring your pedal down and then you'll color them and blend them just like you do on the whole thing and that adds interest also with your piece this one will be uh, a wall hanging and it will uh, I don't know if you can see the colors it'll be a wall hanging and when you poly it it just brings out the color even more and it makes the color more vibrant even even still you can add some sparkling on this if you want or just leave it like this it's like I said it's about an hour away from being done I have a lot more blending to do and and my black black will be the last that I put in and it will go in in the middle it'll add some shadowing It'll darken these little tiny areas um, just to put depth into it. I'm going to check my video and hopefully it came out good enough that at least I can post a little bit of something on YouTube. Um, my other one didn't work again, so I'm going to have to figure something out. But anyway, this is Holly's, Holly's Hobby. This is Unicorn Spit. A thank you to Michelle and now Eclectic. Uh, for making such a great product that we can create with. Um, thank you for all your support, and we will talk to you later.